Good morning, I'm Shai Einbinder, co-founder and CEO of Viaqua uh, Therapeutics. Viaqua was founded a year ago to deal with one of the major challenges in uh, aquaculture in general and uh, shrimp farming in particular, diseases. Shrimp farming is an enormous industry with a total value of about $17 billion a year. Today, more than 55% of shrimp supplies come from aquaculture, but switching from wild capture to aquaculture created a new set of challenges. The widespread and biggest of them is the widespread of diseases. And many of them are viral. Uh, many examples exist. Uh, the Mozambique shrimp industry was shut down in 2011. Iran, our neighbor, industry uh, was reduced by 50% uh, in 2015. And Thailand production was uh, reduced to half few times in the last few years. Today, there is no means to prevent or treat a viral disease, and uh, when a disease appears, it simply wipes out the pond within seven to 10 days. The therapeutic approach we have taken to tackle this challenge is based on uh, silencing key genes of the virus uh, using a method called RNAi. This is a new and exciting technology which is being used in many, many other applications and is very effective. In particular, researchers have shown that RNAi is very effective dealing with uh, shrimp diseases, viral infection in shrimps. The problem is that these results were obtained by injecting the shrimp one by one. Injecting a shrimp one by one is okay for the lab, but this is of course not a feasible method to be used in aquaculture. The challenge then is how to inject, how to, to mass deliver RNA to a shrimp, and this is where the aqua comes in. The aqua is developing a proprietary platform technology for RNA delivery which is tailored specifically for aquaculture. The goal is to administer the RNA to the shrimp through feed or through the water they grow in. For each virus, we can select a specific RNA. Then, the RNA carrier, uh, that for we can select a specific RNA sequence and combine the RNA with our proprietary carrier, a non-GMO, food-grade, biodegradable, carrier which is safe for both human and for the shrimp itself. Together the RNA and the carrier form a nanoparticle which protects the RNA in the water and in the, in the digestive system of the shrimp. The nanoparticle protects the RNA until they enter the shrimp body into the cells where they release the RNA and create the desired therapeutic effect. The company is just one year old and we uh, have a very long way to go, but then now we have succeeded, as you can see here, to allow our nanoparticles to enter through the digestive system of the shrimp and to enter the pancreas cells of the shrimp. Our nanoparticles also mixed with food has shown a very promising result and we have succeeded silencing 50% of the gene related to the viral infection. It's yet not as good as the injected RNA, but it's much more better than a free RNA. Our technology combines all properties that are necessary for a real feasible solution for aquaculture. It allows simple administration via feed or water. It is inexpensive and relatively easy from the uh, regulatory perspective. Importantly, it is a platform technology which allows treating many viruses in shrimp and also can be used for many other aquatic organisms. Our next steps are focused on making our nanoparticles more effective. Thank you. How has Trendlines helped you and um, is there anything that the people in this room could do to be, what are you looking for? Uh, the, 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 the option to do such a project uh, and such a, or to open such a company is, uh, I, I think that the chance to do it is using a, a Hamama project and Trendline as a partner. Uh, now we need uh, more money to get it uh, uh, better and uh, faster.